Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet for the Flipper Slay 3 Challenge. This was the last challenge I had to do, but a couple underwater ones. Um, and I kind of tested out some different places and figured I would show you a really easy way to do this one. Uh, so if you guys don't know to see where your challenges are, you just go to your name up at the top and you can see them on your right hand side. Now I have mine done so you can't really see, but they will tell you. I'll show you clips of me doing this later in the video too. So at the end, stick around and you can see me checking this in the video before I got done to see what my distance was. Um, and while you're doing it, when you get it done, a reward thing will pop up on your screen too as well. But uh, So we're at the Congo, and you could do this at other lakes with other big fish, but this one in... Uh, this one in the Congo specifically worked really well when I compared it to other fish. Uh, the most important thing here is you guys can completely copy the setup if you want, but the most important thing here is that you're using a Texas rig uh, to catch now perch. Now, personally, I like to go for the 14 0 and a big shad. It makes it a lot easier because the fish you're going to get is a bigger one and probably going to pull you around quite quickly. Uh, for the most part and that's a good way to go and you can even do it as even on a jig winner uh, just set up your uh, pole to be able to the correct texas rig to that size you can use other rigs but i have always preferred texas rigs over the other rigs and if the bigger hook size you're going to get the better off you're going to be for catching big now perch obviously now, this is a spot I did mine at, and there's a few reasons for it. If you use a big hook, I'll show you guys the spots. You're less likely to get catfish, and it's pretty out in the open for the most part. Once in a great while, you might hit that barrier that's way back there, but that's a good sign is you're probably getting pulled pretty far then. Um, unlike this spot here in the middle and some of the other now perches, you're going to catch a lot of catfish at this spot, and also... Down here at the waterfall, you're going to fight that barrier, and you're not going to move a whole lot on that barrier a lot of times. So I don't really use that spot a whole lot. But for this video in particular, a big hook size will help you out quite a bit. And believe it or not, when you hook a fish, you want to go stop and go along the bottom. Um, and make sure you're unanchored, of course, by the way. And what you're going to want to do is actually... Uh, so I tried a few different ways, but it actually worked best to only bring them in to uh, 25 feet or so. So probably just about 10 meters for you guys, uh, our metric friends. Now you can actually bring them in closer. You can bring them all the way to 9 on feet on the setup or like 3 meters, but you don't necessarily want to do that. I'll show you clips later on where they kind of just were bouncing around the lake and not are bouncing around your boat or kayak and weren't really pulling me anywhere when i left them out at 25 feet they did a lot more pulling and it went really quickly once i figured out how to do this for the nile it only probably took i would i would say a half hour hour to do the entire challenge uh it was pretty quick now if you haven't done a lot of Nile perch fishing like I have, it might take you a little bit longer, but this was a really good way to do it. Anyway, guys, you can also take this Texas rig setup and try it for something else. It works for other stuff at different lakes if you're not high level. You know, for example, tarpon at um, Blue Crab. There's other places to do it, but this place at the Congo was definitely my best uh, place to get it done and quick. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks.